key local election campaigning will take place today, ahead of national campaigning resuming tomorrow. There's been a pause for two days following the bombing in Manchester on Monday. UKIP will also launch its manifesto today after postponing it from yesterday. Let's get more from our political correspondent, Leila Nathu. Understandably, Leila, there has been a pause in campaigning, but um, local level campaigning beginning today. Always going to be difficult. Uh, last night's event, Manchester United. It's such an important match, but in in these circumstances, it was going to be difficult. It was certainly going. It's such an important match, but in in these circumstances, it was going to be difficult. It was certainly going to be very emotional. Um, I think you know anyone who was watching last night, and certainly if you you know talk to any football fan, the will of the nation was that Manchester United won last night, of wasn't course, it? Yeah. And I think. Um, lots of the players, lots of the people who had to go, maybe didn't feel like they wanted to go to a Europa League final last night. Maybe didn't feel at the start of the game like they wanted to sing. Um, it was very subdued at the start, but they won. They won 2-0, and that's something certainly for uh, the city of Manchester to... ...games this week as well. That's right, and there was a, a, a moment, wasn't there, when perhaps the Manchester games might... Later, actually, um, bronze medalist, Olympic bronze medalist, she's going to be competing in the city games, and she's very much, you know, standing firm, supporting Manchester yeah. and, and carrying on, as so many people have said they want to continue yeah, with their lives. lots of people lives. think the same, I'm sure. Yeah. So thanks for having See you later okay. on. Time now is 12 minutes past six. Let's catch up with Carol and find out what's happening with the weather. It was so hot yesterday, Carol, wasn't it? There's many it of us. I mean, you, you can, you're right, right up close to the, to the athletes. It's Fantastic. Bernard, I wonder, you know, with an event like the Manchester Great, the Great Manchester City Games, when people are so close, how, how does that change in terms of organisation or preparation? Does it? Or do you just say, you know, as Asha said, we're defiant, we're brave, we're, gonna, we're going out there to do our jobs, we're there to entertain and be, you know, be as one, support our city? Well, Later, actually, um, bronze medalist, Olympic bronze medalist, she's going to be competing in the City Games and she's very much, you know, standing firm, supporting Manchester yeah. and, and carrying on, as so many people have said they want to continue yeah, with their lives. lots of people think the same, I'm sure. Yeah. So, thanks for having See you later okay. on. Time now is 12 minutes past six. Let's catch up with Carol and find out what's happening with the weather. It was so hot yesterday, Carol, wasn't it? There's many it of us. Was. I mean, you, you can, you're right, right up close to the, to the athletes. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Bernard, I wonder, you know, with an event like the Manchester Great, the Great Manchester City Games, when people are so close, how, how does that change in terms of organisation or preparation? Does it? Or do you just say it? You know, as Asha said, we're defiant, we're brave, we're, gonna, we're going out there to do our jobs, we're there to entertain and be, you know, be as one, support our city. Well